Hello and greetings, my fellow Long Darkians, and welcome to another safe house a base customization idea for the upcoming uh, DLC update part 6, Tales from Far Territories. And we just got some pretty big news. I did a short video on that. Check that out as well. Uh, because the safe house customization, all the stuff I've been talking about in these video series, it does apply to you. Uh, yeah, you don't have to own the DLC for this update. It's I guess it's gotten so big and expansive, they thought it was a fundamental feature. And then I think that's very, very cool. So if you did not purchase the DLC, but I do recommend it's on the Steam sale right now. Again, 13 bucks, and even at full price, I think it's a good deal. The DLC did have a lot of problems. I think it's finally all coming together. Uh, hopefully, they'll get the Switch sorted out as well. But, hey, I'm fair when it's fair. I think it is turned around. I think at the end of the day, it is a good deal. I have myself a lot of positive review on Steam. If you enjoyed it, leave a positive review as well. Uh, but all right, enough of that, though. Let's get to Thompson's Market. We're out in uh, Thompson's Crossing. We'll cover that first. Now, this is a good one. There's also a lot of this is going to depend, and I'll do some follow-up videos. We're going to do a lot of safe house customization videos. Going to have a lot of fun with it. I hope you do join me for that one. Uh, but this one, first off, I'm going to get a lamp. It is kind of lighting. Is kind of. I hope we can do maybe some options for lighting. So it does look like we're going to be able to move along. I hope I can move along that. And like the general clutter. There's not too much clutter in here. Like I hope I can move that. I don't. I've only seen a couple pictures. From the and the Finland forms from the safe house customization stuff, so I don't know how far we can go. Yeah, there's not a bad amount of space in here. You do have lockers in the back, uh, all those things. I mean, other than not having a fire outside, it's not a big deal. You've got a, a six slot stove just across the way, so you could always go in there for that. But I like it. It's got a lot of shelf space, a lot of customization, a lot of wall space you could probably change around. Oh, I'd like to take that too. That would be nice. Probably scrap this shelf. I wonder hopefully we can get rid of the microwave or at least move the microwave somewhere then. That would be nice. But yeah, it's it's not bad. It would be okay. I've spent I kind of usually spend a night here before I go up to the transition area. Out from a mystery lake. All right, there we go. Now let's head over and explore the rest of Thompson's Crossing. This is a pretty big part that did come uh, with the uh, Winter Mute episode, in addition to the Pleasant Valley map, which I think is very nice. Let's get the big one up first, the Community Hall. I like this one quite a bit, uh, especially since it's got a six-lot stove. That is really, really nice. Weird fact, though. They took the phone out of here. Uh, Winter Mute, there's a phone. Here, no phone. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. All right. This, I would probably, if we could, get rid of this, make it a little, maybe a little storage area. I would probably move these photos around and... That might be a bug. I don't know why that is. What is going on? Oh. Weird that that one is so dark, though. All right, I'm getting off topic. Uh, but, yeah, I would definitely love to move that poster, too. And so, some nice stuff. I might really can remove this. I don't know. Probably not. If I can move some rugs around, too, because this is just... It's all off-center. It's very weird. You already do have a base, uh, a bed in here, so that's very nice. You've got a fireplace as well. So, if, like, six slots, cooking slots is not enough for you, you can get a total of eight. So that's pretty nice. I've actually used two before to get like a whole bunch of water going. Ah, it's kind of fun. But one thing I like about this one, look at the amount of wall space you have. I mean, there's a lot of pictures in here already. But if I was going to like, let's say, let's make a base like a museum. Like I would take, because you could take actually with the polar, I think, coming up in the DLC. I think I still believe that's part of the uh, paid DLC update. Uh, you'll be able to take Polaroids, then you'll be able to frame them, put them up just like these pictures of in-game in stuff. So imagine you could have a run, like say a thousand days, maybe we'll do something like this, and I take pictures, and we put it up all across. That would be just lovely. 
Yeah, I would definitely love to do that. A lot of stuff we can probably move around. I'd like to take that with me somewhere, maybe. And you got space back here as well. Now, I wish there was some kind of like the way, you know, the... Uh, in the mines, in the zone of contamination, there's these lanterns you can turn on down below. And they're always continually lit. Now, immersion-wise, it doesn't make a lot of sense why you could have something like that out here. But I'd love to have some more lighting ideas because sometimes it gets a little dark uh, for picture-wise. Otherwise, when you're losing a lantern, I, I just think it'd be something awesome. I mean, after 11 years, I think we can get a little nuts. Why not? Let's just, yeah, have fun with it. That's a couple cabinets as well. I mean, it's got... Yeah, I would like to take out my idea, taking all this out, have some storage chests. I don't know what they... I know we can craft some storage chests. I don't know how much the weight is. I would imagine 30. That's going to be my guess. I could fill this room with chests. Oh, that would be lovely. And just clean up the rest of this. Like, I like to clean up all of this. Like, you can break down the tables. We could never get the chairs and that kind of stuff. I'd love to clear all that out. Then we get the kitchen. Stove? Perfecto. I'd like to clear that out if we could. I would probably leave the kitchen as is. Maybe clean up some of this. Make it a little more reasonable, but... Uh, Overall, I think it's going to be great. I don't know how this will be affected by the wildlife refresh, though. Uh, usually get a couple wolves down here. Other than that, not too much. I mean, but you're not far from, you know, a couple bears, etc. So it's not bad. Be enough deer around as well. Now, this is a big map. One of the biggest maps in the game, though. Go check this house over here. And if you've seen one of these houses, you've seen a lot of them because there's not really a lot of variety to a lot of the vanilla houses. We're all we got a nice, it's a nice area. I would probably take the table out, clean up all this clutter. Oh yeah, well, we could definitely do better than that. I'll get some storage space. Realign that picture, right? That's off center. That's off center. Who lives here? Oh, another pancake photo, too. Decent amount of bed space. Um, you got okay storage. I definitely want to add some, though. Like, it'd be also really cool if I could take out the toilet out. If I could take all this out. Because we know Will's not going to shower. It's just not going to happen. And I could convert this to, like, a storage area. Put a workbench in there, really. Or you could put it out front, too. I definitely kind of keep the bedroom the bedroom if I can. I don't know if we'll be able to move these. Or get rid of that. would be kind of cool too. I'd also be able to like this close curtains if we could. So you could change. That might be a little too much of an ask because then you could change kind of the lighting in the room and stuff. But that would be kind of cool. All right, moving right around. And they actually did have on their wheel, uh, uh, their board of crazy springs in the season. I now know we'll never see that. Uh, but they were talking about seasons in the game. Like you could get through winter to spring to fall, etc. Imagine it, this game without snow, though. It would be a little weird, right? Okay, up next. Oh, this is another basic kind of house. One does have an upstairs. Same house, like we've basically seen this house before. So maybe clear out these shelves. Or maybe, yeah, like I said, if we could clear that out, it'd be amazing. i put some storage in there. And you have the smaller type kind of attic bedroom. Like, it's decent. It's got a good bed in it as well. Not my first choice, though. Like, it would work, but nah, there's flashier places. Oh, he's gonna kind of kind of stay in place with some style, like community hall, or the market would be a pretty good choice. Let's go to this one. This is kind of like the basic, uh, kind of storehouse room as well, which I know some of the viewers had mentioned is kind of nice because it's got a, it's got a whole lot of things to work with because you could just clear out this whole thing, you could clear it out and you could kind of make it your own. 
which I think is kind of really appealing because I'd love to just clear out a pace place uh, for Will. We could make it home, you know. That would be pretty cool. So yeah, basically the same one as we've seen multiple times here. There's a lot of building copied in the game, of course. But yeah, it wouldn't take much to clean this up, clean up the clutter. Get a workbench, so get some crates, get some storage in here. Yeah, you'd be okay. It'd be your own little home, as it were. I think definitely not a bad idea. Now this one, I don't... This is the caveat, because there's, there's a couple churches in the game. I don't know how much we can do in here. So it will be interesting. I love the aesthetics and the look, but what can I do with these? Because I can't break them down, and they take up a majority of the space. So hopefully, like, I could maybe move them if I can't take them down entirely. But I'm sure Will's good at breaking things. Also, maybe another DLC idea, playable piano. I could have fun with that. Yeah, but hopefully we can clear this up. Move this stuff around, I'd probably keep... A lot of this as it is though because it adds charm to the area but the these have definitely have to go or at least be moved off to the side a little bit like you could rotate them a little bit just to give you a little bit more space and i i, I would really love to take these with me please let them take me and that maybe we'll get a mod for that but that ah, would be cool It's got a charm. It's on the caveat that you can do something with these pews. Because otherwise, if it's just stuck like that, you don't have a lot of room uh, to mess around. If it's all this stuff that's going to be stuck, yeah, it's, it'd probably be a no for me then. But it's it's got a lot of nice looks. And sadly, like I think even Pilgrim, right across the bridge, there's that one house... That they burned down for everybody, and I really like that house, sadly, but... I believe that's all the locations we have in Thompson's Crossing. Let's make sure that's not a house, just because in vanilla, uh, in the Pilgrim settings, there's some houses that are burnt down, that are burnt down in... Interloper that aren't burnt down in lower difficulties. All right, next decks, I think we'll have to uh, hop over to an old favorite of mine, and probably the best location for a base in Pleasant Valley. And that Pleasant Valley Farmstead, probably my fa I spent a lot of time out here. It's in a great central location. Now, on the caveat that the wildlife refresh doesn't completely change this, I don't know if bear patrol, like their bear pathways, are going to change. That could change up a lot of the game, because one of their main uh, things to stay around here is uh, Chester, old, the, the bear. He does come by here all the time, and it is incredibly easy to farm him. About every month or so. Yeah, you, you can live pretty well off. There are some wolves back here as well. Also, for the cabin fever, you do have a fire barrel on the outside. I don't think we can change anything on the outside as far as I know. But let's go start at the front door. I usually don't go in this door either, so it's a little weird. And we'll go check out that... Uh, the outcrop building as well, which was added with uh, Winter Mute, episode three, I believe. And I will. Ah, let's get a flare up just because it's a little dark in here. What are we about midday? And one thing you will have space. There's a lot of space, a lot of storage space. It's already kind of a fantastic house on your own, but you you like to clean up a little bit. Will he's not really into that. Lots of pictures already. You have so much space to work with. You have a six slot stove as well. Uh, fridge. Perfection. Like I said, I don't know yet what we can remove. Uh, but there's a lot of space. You have a fireplace as well. You have a study. Like this could need some major cleaning up though. Like, like we can... Well, we can all break that down anyway, but I like to move stuff and set it straight without breaking it down. I think that could be really cool. Uh, so we shall have to see. Oh yeah, you could also just, uh, I don't know if you can get rid of this, probably not, but 
You can set up a lot of pictures every little spot like they kind of already do. That would be pretty neat. And if you're all looking just to collect stuff to make your own base somewhere else, there's plenty of pictures of the things you'll be able to collect. And yeah, this has most, most of the pictures. At least the general concept art you can find in the game. I don't know if it has a pancake photo though. Another room here. It's like there's so much space. It's amazing. Yeah, so that'll give you plenty of ideas. I mean, this is... I could probably spend an entire video just cleaning this place up. Oh, at least. It's... I have to tip back that up, put against the wall, fix these pictures. Oh, another quick... Can we get cobwebs? Because I'd love to clear out these cobwebs. Oh, man, that would be nice. They got another bed here over here that I'd never use, but... Well, then let's go to the master bedroom. Yeah, very nice, right? A nice bed. You got cabinet space. I'd probably keep that. Also, can we... Can I find that other... Sh the shelf is right here. Can I put that back in? And fix this up? Half open drawers bother me. <laughs> Close it or leave it open. Make up your mind. Uh, but yeah. I could be able to, like, pick up a chair and just set it like you could in, like, Fallout or something. Uh, would be nice. But I would have to say, for base-wise, this is probably my number one choice. Uh, if the wildlife refresh changes it a whole lot, I might have to just generally move to another base, though. It depends on the commute I have to make to hunt. And this is, it does have a basement as well, which it already has a workbench. I wonder if you could even move this. I don't know if you can break down a workbench or move it or not, but you got a lot of space here. A lot of stuff to clean. Yeah, I could clear all this out, clear up the clutter. Oh yeah, you could definitely make something work. I would love to do all this. Yeah, we could definitely do an entire video of just this. Oh, easy. I could do a whole live stream on this. This is amazing. Overall, it's, it's a very solid base. Oh, lovely, lovely. And we'll probably be able to get maybe one more map out before the update comes out. I will try to get these out as fast as I can before the update. But we're definitely going to do a lot of base customization. And speak of the devil, there he is. There's Chester, a couple wolves on that side. Yeah, there's a lot of wildlife around here, so it is uh, very, very good uh, for that. We're just going to head over to this other outcropping building. And then we'll head over to the barn, because that's another one. And it's not bad. There's a bear nearby that, and there's also the moose out by those birch trees. A lot of wolves. Not a bad place to be. Probably not. I just I don't, never feel like it's a good spot for me personally. I mean, basically you just sleep in the car and it's not bad. It's simply not bad. It's got a fire barrel as well. And we'll just toss that out. Now this one might have potential because it's a little bit smaller. But I wonder if we can do some stuff with the upper area there, too. Like, can I clear all this out? Like, I don't know how possible could I clear out the straw and stuff. I mean, technically, that is a bed. Also, I argue, well, why can't you just sleep on the floor, though? But I think I lost that argument. And we've got a fire barrel as well. So if we could clean all this out... You have quite a bit of a video, though. I think I'd imagine they'd have make you leave this, though. Like, could I change it up up here? Could be cool, yeah. This my space. It's got style. That's kind of. It's got you know character. I think that's very important in a base as well. Especially going to be spending a long time in it. Definitely on the smaller side, but you can definitely make it work. It's not too far from the uh, farmstead as well. 
But right up next, I think we should head over uh, to the barn. Up next, we've got the barn, uh, which class kind of iconic long dark. I said, you've got uh, up in the birch trees uh, back there, you've got. Yeah, you've got a lot of uh, bear, you've got wolf, and you have moose as well. Let's get right in. Now, one thing is, besides dead bodies, hey, it's got a lot of class. Like this, like, I don't, I don't think you could probably get the car out of here or anything. I don't think I see Will pushing that or putting it in his pocket. But if you could clear this out, it would be nice. But I'd definitely like to at least be able to clear up the hay clutter on the floor. If you could clear this out, you got a lot of space. For some decent stuff. I, can't even get rid of, I hope we can get rid of barrels too. Just these would be really nice. Good amount of storage up here as well. You've already got a workbench. Also like to clear out that totally. I mean, it's got a lot to work with. I like it. And if you're looking for picture space, it's pretty good. Slight hole in the floor though. That's that is a kind of maybe in the minus column. But yeah, you could definitely line up all these walls and everything. I think it's not bad. I think it's not bad. Not what I usually do. But I'm willing to try different things here. And you do have a bed. It's not the greatest bed, but it is a bed. Think up next. Why don't we head over to the radio hut? I think that's actually a pretty good place as well. And all right, we're up at Signal Hill Radio Hut. And you do have a bear up here, but on the caveat, yeah, maybe we won't have the bear going this way anymore. Maybe that might change up. So it's a little less uh, remote. Not a heck of a view, though. Go check this out. Yeah, if you're looking out for views in Pleasant Valley, I would have to say probably none better than this one. It is quite, quite nice. Let's head back in. Now, this one has a lot of character, too. It's a little out of the way, though. I don't think it's horrible by any means, though. Not going to cover interior caves in this one, just because I'm not entirely sure that counts. But if it is, by all means, I would love to customize some cave inside the cave areas. That would be kind of cool. I almost had a lantern fuel, actually. Well, these base tour ideas, things I have not really been doing uh, too much looting, so we're kind of low on things. But yeah, definitely, this is a bit of a fixer-upper. And I don't know if we can get... Probably can't get rid of this stuff, so... Hopefully, at least be able to move that and stuff. I'd love to take up a bunch of PCs. We could maybe open up a internet cafe or something. That'd be cool. Yeah, so it'll be a come to caveat. What can we take? What can we leave, etc. But it's got a bed. It's got decent storage space. You've got a workbench as well. Uh, it's efficient. You can get some storage in here. Hopefully, maybe clean out the clear out the desk and stuff. But that's got room. It's decent. Looking forward to it. I would probably clean it up, but not stay here. I think I have a feeling like I'm going to do a run where I'm going to clean up every building in the game. But we're not. I'm only going to stay in one. Like I like to take that time clock too. That would be kind of nice. Oh, and definitely taking you. That's nice. Okay. But I think up next, let's pop over to that draft. I think it's called the Draft Dodgers Cabin. Uh, right across the way from Pleasant Valley, like you're heading on your way uh, to the abandoned Preppers Cache. Now, this one is stationed just right uh, uh, in front of uh, Skeeter's Ridge. I always want to think Scooter from Borderlands, but I believe it is Skeeter. And this one's not bad. It's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. You get a little bit of wolf traffic, but on that, it's not too bad. It is kind of like all the other cabins you've seen like this. You don't have a lot of much to it. You could cram storage in here and then also get that workbench, possibly. 
I don't think you can... I hopefully maybe you can make fire barrels. Because that would be pretty awesome. Put that in every place. Uh, so you gotta do your fire outside. But it's functional. If you'd like some peace and quiet. Like a little bit of wall space. But I feel like it would get a little too cluttered if you did too much. Like I also wonder if we could get on the ceiling too. Put like pictures on that part. That would be cool. But yeah, not a ton to say about this one. It's alright. It's functional. Uh, if you can craft your own storage space, yeah. Otherwise, you don't have... Other than the drawers, you don't have too much. But up next, we're going to head over to that uh, basement up on top of the ridge there. And we're up at top Skeeter's Ridge. You might hear some wolves running around in the background. Uh, it does have that plane crash that is from episode 3 of Winter Mute is up here now. Uh, you've also got a cave nearby as well. There is a lot of wolf traffic, plus that bear does come around this area, but not a ton from what I've usually experienced. This is also where the start of the uh, Haunted Challenge begins as well. Oh, that does remind me. I think the Haunted Challenge Part 3 is supposed to come out with this update Part 6. Uh, they hadn't mentioned it lately, though, so hopefully that's still a thing. Now, this is kind of like the abandoned Harris home. Actually, it's a one-on-one -on -one copy, pretty much, I think. Except maybe this has a fridge. Based on the caveat, I hope we can get rid of that. That probably... Those things are incredibly heavy, so I don't know how well we do it, but... Yeah, we need to bring our own storage and a workbench. We'll keep these just because they generally hold 30 kilograms, which is not bad. And probably get rid of that. I mean, it's just kind of lacking in space. But if you get maybe a makeshift bed made too, this definitely functional. A little bit different. Ah, I, I would definitely go with it. Yeah, I would at least make it into kind of like a mini waypoint. If you're heading out to uh, Timberwolf Mountain. I do believe uh, pretty much just leaves... Uh, Three strikes for uh, homestead. That's just kind of like a shed, so that's still outdoors, so I don't think that counts. Uh, do let me know in the comments if I forgot a building, but I think just up left we have the... Like, I don't think caves count as well. Uh, so we're just going to go with the abandoned preppers cache. Alright, coming all the way out. Now up the rope that leads to Timberwolf Mountain. Uh, quite a good time as well. I don't know if that in the video, because there's really only one place. Like, I hope maybe the plane counts. I could do some awesome customization in the plane. Well, I know they did say Timberwolf, uh, the mountaineering hut, is customizable. And you're going to bet we're going to be there. Because that would be quite awesome. Now this one, and there's also all our pepper caches uh, in the game. They're all fixed locations now. And generally, I think it'll be nice because on Interloper, they're all really crappy. There's not much in it. There's no loot, etc. But I think it could definitely be cool. We're gonna need some light here. Also running out of light, but definitely clear all that out. I wonder if you do can't get rid of the snow. I mean, theoretically, we'll get snow for water, so you think you could definitely straighten up this if we can. And if I could, if I change that, if I could flip that up and close the drawers, would that count as storage? Probably not, but it would be a cool idea. Plenty of storage. You got a workbench. I would like to maybe put my own bed in or at least straighten that out. But yeah, it's, I don't probably can't get rid of those roots, but you got a nice little style. Uh, got some wolves nearby. Other than that, it's it's not bad at all. Uh, it's an area I usually always stop on on my way to Timberwolf Mountain, of course. Yeah, but it's not, not bad. Uh, but in summary, there is a lot of potential in Pleasant Valley for base customization. Really can't wait that it's coming up. And I think it, other than the Cougar, uh, probably going to be one of the highest things about the update for me, personally. Uh, but we shall have to see. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, be sure to hit the like button. It does help out a lot. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.